Hi, I'm Matthew Cavalier and welcome back to my channel, Moments with Matthew. It's Friday, so today is a mini moment, which is awesome. And we are about into the holiday season of Christmas and New Year's. I know Hanukkah is already going on and by the time this is released, it'll probably already be concluded. So happy Hanukkah as well and happy holidays to everyone. Today I wanna to talk a little bit about gift giving because now is the time that gifts are received and exchanged and for someone who has really been studying and trying to embrace a little bit more minimalism and less collecting of stuff one of the things I wanted to talk about a little is how do you give gifts that won't necessarily burden the giver or in the situation of especially little kids as I watch my niece and nephews and they open up their gifts and they're so excited for that gift but then they're also excited for what's next, what's next, what's next and then you ask them a month later, how do you like the gift that I got you? And they're like, which one was that? And they aren't 100% sure of what you gave them and they're kind of not playing with it anymore. So you wonder, am I adding too much stuff to this household, to these people? Am I burdening them? And they may not agree with the minimalism lifestyle that I've embraced, but it does make me feel a little bit better to not burden them with more stuff. So we want to think about what are good gift ideas. And the one that I come up with the most is time the gift of time. I remember when I worked at Disney years ago and I would go into the Disney Credit Union, there was always a gentleman there who worked in the front and his favorite thing to say to me was, every day's a gift and you are a gift too. And at the time I was like, that is so cliche, but then as time went on and I understood exactly what he meant, that is so true. The gift of time is a great gift if you are concerned with burdening others with more stuff that they have to collect or hold on to or worry about keeping because they don't want to offend you. The time with you is precious. Give them that time. Give them those moments that they can spend with you and connect with you and you can share the joy of the moment with each other. I know that's not easy in a time of a pandemic and where we're socially distancing and being responsible, but that time can be spent in other ways through video chatting and things like that. But as we move in, we can start to see that that time will come again when we're spending time with each other. So have those moments that it's not always just about the stuff. Find clever ways to give gifts of yourself instead of the gift of more, more, more objects, more things, more items that will lose excitement and once the moment has worn off they're going to put away and not even remember who gave it to them what was the purpose or they're going to hold on to it longer because they don't want to offend you by getting rid of something they're not using anymore so i want you to say i want to give you the gift of time i want to spend time with you i want to connect with you i want to grow our relationship and make it deeper and more meaningful. And that is a great gift for the holiday season and for every season going forward. Can you do that? Is that something that you would enjoy? Are you a super gift giver? And that's okay too. Don't be afraid to give those gifts, but think about that time as well. Think about those moments of connection. Those are important to everyone and we need them whether we admit it or not. Thank you for joining me on our mini moment this week and I'll see you on Wednesday for our extended version of Moments with Matthew. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment and connect with the socials down below so we can keep this conversation going. Have a great week, everyone.